At the beginning of the movie, we get to a large-scale, noisy and fun party. Teenagers are partying hard, playing pool, drinking, and enjoying their freedom. A guy named Dave Hodgman is visibly nervous and rehearses a speech to declare his love to his girlfriend. His monologue is interrupted by a perplexed Aubrey Miller. The hero says that every night he goes to parties with his friends, even if he does not know those who organize them. Aubrey thinks this attitude is somewhat silly and strange. The girl says that she has a boyfriend, but he did not go with her. Aubrey was persuaded to go to the party by her friends. Dave also admits that he is in love with a girl named Jane Harmon. Aubrey asks if their feelings are mutual, but learns that the hero is perceived only as a friend. The girl offers to confess her love, but Dave mentions that Jane is now with a guy named Brendan Meltzer. Upon hearing his name, Aubrey says that a hero doesn't stand a chance. Brendan is very handsome, and even her friends dream of him. The girl treats Dave with gum and, embarrassed, wants to leave. However, the hero asks Aubrey to stay a little longer and listen to the speech he wrote to confess his feelings for Jane. Having listened, the girl gives Dave advice. His beloved is not interested in romance and wants someone to take her problems on his shoulders. The hero offers Aubrey to dance and asks her to overcome her shyness. Dave's dance is interrupted by a text message that the police are on their way to the house. Half-dressed, drunken teenagers begin to appear from behind the gate, eager to get out of the dangerous place as quickly as possible. Dave notices Brendan taking Jane away in his car. Aubrey notices the hero's upset and asks to escort her out, chatting about the future. Dave admits that he feels comfortable just talking to the girl. A company of guys offers the heroes a ride to another party, but they refuse. Having brought the girl home, Dave gathers up his courage and finds out her phone number. Aubrey responds by inviting him inside, but asks him not to think about anything extra. Dave admires the collages the girl creates. Aubrey brings drinks and turns on music to create a comfortable atmosphere. The girl says she is happy at four in the afternoon, sitting on a warm rug after school and cutting out pictures. Aubrey discusses how night games and relationships have lost their value in today's world. Dave says that he hasn't played night games with anyone yet, but he would like to date Jane and fill his life with romance. Aubrey takes the hero's hand and offers to cuddle for a while. Dave relaxes and falls asleep. In the morning, Aubrey's mom knocks on the door of the room and the heroes realize that they urgently need to think of something to get out of this situation. Dave climbs out the window, but accidentally stains the carpet. The hero manages to escape, but he realizes that Aubrey forgot to give him her phone number. Encouraged by such an incredible adventure, Dave decides to share the story with his friends. Simon is sure that the girl made up a story about being in a relationship. The guy advises Dave to invite her somewhere in a couple of days to see if something has changed in Aubrey's world after their meeting. Learning that the hero did not get a phone number, Simon offers to call their acquaintance and check the girl through the database. It turns out that it's only possible to get Aubrey's family's home number. Simon advises to call the girl not earlier than a couple of days so that she does not think that he has no personal life. However, Dave immediately calls the Miller house. Aubrey picks up the phone and communicates a little stiffly. On the hero's proposal to meet in the evening, she replies that she has already agreed to go to the movies. Dave remembers that his friends are also going to the movie and rejoices. In the evening, Aubrey gets into Ronnie's car. Her boyfriend is focused solely on his morale and is used to suffering. At the movie theater, Dave chats with Jane and sees Aubrey with Ronnie. Simon speaks to them amiably and informs them that they are going to a horror movie. Ronnie regretfully clarifies that they are going to another movie, but under pressure from the girl changes her mind. At the movie theater, Dave is having a hard time. His friend named Big Corporation advises him not to give in to Jane's provocations. Dave decides to turn around and look at Aubrey, but is met with a disapproving look from Simon. The hero does notice that his new friend is leaving the hall and follows her. Dave finally takes the girl's phone number and invites her to a small semblance of a party at Brianna's. Aubrey tells how she once got lost in Madrid and then realized how much she enjoyed traveling. Dave gets into the girl's story, but their conversation is interrupted by Ronnie. At the party, Aubrey feels awkward. Ronnie tries to assert himself at the expense of his intelligence and teach teenagers how to live properly. The girl goes outside and chats with Jane. The girl says that Dave is a wonderful friend who also takes care of his little sister and actually replaces her father. Jane complains about Brendan, a typical selfish guy who used her. Aubrey tries to turn the girl's attention to Dave, but changes his mind at the last moment. Meanwhile, 
The hero talks to Ronnie. The guy says that he is not very fond of schoolgirls, but Aubrey impressed him a lot. Ronnie directly informs that this night, he intends to deprive the girl of her innocence. Having learned that it will take place in the car, Dave is struck by the guy's rudeness and inattention to Aubrey. Meanwhile, the girl herself is playing the piano, trying to sort out her thoughts and feelings. Dave approaches her and asks her not to play night games with someone like Ronnie. Aubrey tries to convince the hero and herself that the first time is overrated, and it's better to do it beforehand rather than wait for her ephemeral other half. The girl loses her temper and admits that since Dave will be with Jane, she'll stay with Ronnie. The hero smiles and says that Aubrey likes him. The couple almost kiss, but Ronnie shows up in the living room. A confrontation ensues between them and Dave. However, Aubrey intervenes and suggests that her boyfriend leave together. Jane, as usual, tries to complain to the hero about her problems. However, Dave gathers courage and admits to her that today he is not in the mood for socializing. On the way home, the hero receives a message from Aubrey. The girl tells that she broke off the relationship with Ronnie. Dave offers her not to think about anything and just drive around the night city listening to music. However, on the way, they see the same guys in a Jeep who got into an accident. Aubrey cries and says that the world scares her with its cruelty. Dave tries to calm the girl, saying that she is very strong and will be able to withstand what is happening, no matter how difficult it is for her. From such support and understanding, Aubrey can't stand it and hugs the hero. After that, Dave drives the girl home, not believing his happiness. Aubrey is about to leave, but kisses the hero again, emboldened by new feelings. The next day, the girl draws, lying on the carpet, and decides to call Dave. Hero reports that he is currently spending time with his sister named Stella and asks Aubrey to join them. Dave speculates about the fact that he will have to leave for college in the fall. The hero does not want to leave Stella alone, but he realizes that there is no way to avoid it. Back home, Aubrey learns that her parents are leaving for an important event, so the house is completely at her disposal at night. A girl invites Dave to visit her. The hero tries to convince himself that he will not try to get close to Aubrey at the first opportunity. Dave comes to the girl with a gift and is upset to learn that she likes flowers, although he thought the opposite. Aubrey opens the box and finds a lot of magazines in there that can be used for collages. The girl thanks Dave for his attentiveness and kisses him. Aubrey realizes that the relationship between them is becoming more personal but feels comfortable. Dave is the first to come around and says they shouldn't rush things. Aubrey supports his theory, saying that everyone scolds teenagers for hormones and they will take it and prove that they are not afraid of them. Within seconds, however, the heroes are cuddling again, lying on the bed. Aubrey brings a remedy from the bathroom and offers to lie under the blanket to avoid embarrassment. After a night of play, the girl feels weird. Aubrey tries to reassure herself and the hero, saying that next time, it probably won't be so scary. Dave supports the girl's words, saying that what happened was no one's fault. The teenagers realize that they just rushed too much. Aubrey thinks that maybe that's the reason things didn't work out the way they envisioned. The relationship between the characters deteriorates. Aubrey says that she has to study for exams, and Ronnie wrote her a new song. Also, the girl reminds that Dave wanted to spend more time with his sister before leaving. The hero is upset and sincerely regrets that everything has turned out this way. Aubrey stays home and hopes that Dave will call her. The hero feels that urge but overcomes it and goes to meet his friends. Simon says true but sad things. Graduation is in a couple weeks and then Dave's departure for college and summarizes that the relationship with Aubrey wouldn't have lasted long anyway. Big Corp, however, disagrees with those words. He advises Dave to fight on, not to give up after the first difficulties. Aubrey talks to Ronnie and asks her to let her sleep before school. In the morning, the girl rethinks what happened and talks to her parents about it. Aubrey leaves the house and unexpectedly runs into the hero. Dave admits that he doesn't know what love is, but feels that he wants to spend time with the girl and get to know her further. Aubrey agrees and asks for a ride to school. The characters say goodbye and make arrangements to meet again. Aubrey leaves but then returns and hugs Dave. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.